ARSI, the American Research Center in Egypt. ARSI's website states as follows. Among ARSI's many great achievements is our relationship with the Supreme Council of Antiquities, the SCA, within the Egyptian Ministry of Culture, without whom our work would not be possible. ARSI is viewed as making important contributions that serve to help Egypt directly in its pursuit of cultural heritage preservation. What this statement confesses to is the implication and more than likely collaboration with Egyptian authorities to cover up the real truth about ancient Egypt. In 1992, German robotics engineer Rudolf Gantenbrick was exploring shafts within the Queen's Chamber at the Great Pyramid using a crawler robot he had designed himself. His intentions were to install an air conditioning system within the pyramid's existing design. While exploring these ancient tunnels, he discovered one of the shafts was blocked by a tiny limestone blocking door, a secret doorway only accessible with the use of robotic technology. Rudolf Gantenbrick, who was able to map, explore, and analyze the shafts for many years, believed a second door would have suggested the possibility that there would be yet another 40 centimeters further away. His hypothesis, based on the knowledge that many ancient Egyptian funerary monuments were equipped with a series of three blocking doors placed close to each other in succession before the entrance to a sacred tomb. In 2002, the National Geographic Society discovered this second door. Using their own robot known as Pyramid Rover, this event, closely supervised by Arce, who subsequently pulled the plug on the whole operation regarding the shafts. The team had a simple solution to Gantenbrick's problem. They sent the robot along the shaft, gripping the walls instead of the ceiling and floor. In this manner, it was somehow able to ride over the top of the obstacles. The rover's journey along the northern shaft revealed yet another door, just as Gantenbrick's claimed. Mysterious hieroglyphs, written on the floor of the hidden tunnels within Egypt's Great Pyramid, were shown to the world in an initial report on the robot's discoveries, published within the Du Service des Antiquities. The images revealed features that had not been seen by human eyes since the construction of the monument. Researchers from around the world were particularly intrigued by three red ochre figures painted upon the tunnel's end deep inside the pyramid. Books such as Giza the Truth by Chris Harold and Ian Lawton the Stargate Conspiracy by Lynn Picknett and Clive Prince, and Secret Chamber by Robert Balville have all, thanks to the tremendous and diligent research accomplished within, shed light upon the controversy surrounding the Giza Plateau and the Secret Chamber's existence. The key question, the theme witnessed throughout these studies, was whether information has been withheld, discoveries undisclosed, and an understanding of the pyramids and Sphinx's existence purposefully kept hidden from the world. On the 22nd of March, 1993, Dr. Zawi Hawass was suspended from his position as chief inspector of the Giza Pyramid Plateau. It seems Gantenbrick took an opportunity, while the powers that be were distracted, to announce his findings to the world press in early April. It would appear, after substantial digging, that the string pullers within Egypt originate out of America and are stationed within Egypt in the form of Arce. The truth regarding what is buried beneath these ancient structures may still remain a mystery, but realizing the obstacles obstructing an understanding of this truth is half the battle won. <laughs>